Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. Today we're going to be talking about tetrapods. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel. For more video like videos like this, also watch my other half channel, A and A Snakes and Stuff. My youngest son's channel, Henny's Toys and Games, or my oldest son's channel, Little Chris Ten. Now let's dive into the video. A tetrapod from our cat Diamond has learned of a secret language of cat foo. It's like Kung Fu. Kung, Kung Fu? How the fuck you say Kung Fu. Kung Fu? Like Can that. I have my phone? But it's for cats. And that secret language was sent to be gone for ages now. Also, people, please make a compilation video of cat lore. Of of our cats. The lore of our cats because that's new. Aside from that, did that's... <laughs> I'm recording here. Can I have my phone? Hang on. We gotta find out where the light is on this thing. There's no fucking light. Good. Give me my phone. I'll give you your phone. Show them what's new. That's not what we're talking about. So it don't matter. Cat has kittens. That's a uh, tiki. I don't know what the fuck dying. Oh, there. Hang on. You can have this shit back in a moment. The cats. The cats are more important than your video. That's Diamond. She learned cat foo. Those are her, two of her road rats. That's the other one of her road rats. That's the dad of both. He fucked the mom. And the aunt. We got the three there. And I don't know where. She and the there's the last of the Rugrats. I have my phone now. Can I have my phone now? Because I'm ready to blow out. Because I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to blow out. I'm going to blow <laughs> From ancient Greek. From ancient blow out. Tetrapa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Four. I'll quit. And Tononic is any four land vertebrate animal. Please have the this super lady class tetrapod. Learn how to pronounce Greek. She just has to itch her nose, people. That's why she paused the video. Tetrapods include also all extinct. Man, I need to do Greek. I should have fucking chose Greek to learn. All and extinct amphibians and ammonites. Learn, help this woman Wait, learn some. Later in turn, help her learn some Greek. Into two major if class. You speak, if you speak Greek, send videos to, uh, to her where she's pronouncing wrong. The seropods, reptiles, including dinosaurs. She said ancient Greek. And therefore birds. Or and cynopods, extinct. <laughs> polysorceress. Dinosaurs or birds? Tetrapods and all extinct mammals, some tetrapods, such as snakes, legless lizards, and crocodilians, have evolved to become limbless via mutations of the hex gene. Although some do still have a pair of vascular spars that are remnants of the hind limbs. The holy Tetrapods evolved from a group of primitive semi-aquatic animals known as the Tetramopodomorpha, which in turn evolved from ancient lobe-finned fish scanning around 390 million years ago in the mid-middle Darwinian period. Their forms were transitional between lobe-finned fish and true four-limbed tetrapods. Limbed vertebrates, tetrapods in the broad sense of the word, are, are, are first known from middle divarian trackways and body fossils became common near the end of the late divarian, but these were all aquatic. The first... <clears throat> 
crown tetrapods, last common ancestors of extinct tetrapods capable of transgressive locomotion appeared by the vision age of the earlier Kibiferous with the oldest known uncontroversial member being West Luthien, the Pacific aquatic ancestors of the tetrapods, and the process by which they colonized Earth land after emerging from water remains unclear. The transition from a body plane for gill-based aquatic representation and tail prepared aquatic locomotion to one that enables the animal to survive out of water and move around on land is one of the most profound evolutionary changes known. Tetrapods have numerous anthropological and physiological features that are distinct from their aquatic fish ancestors. These include distinct head and neck structures for feeding and movements, Apodicular skeletons, shoulders and pelvic grids in particular, for weight bearing and locomotion. More vasitude eyes for seeing, middle ears for hearing, and more efficient heart and lungs for oxygen circulation and exchange outside water. The first tetrapod stem or fishapods were primarily aquatic, modern amphibians, which evolved from earlier groups, are generally semi-aquatic. The first stages of their lives are as waterborne eggs and fish-like larvae known as tadpoles, and later undergo metamorphosis to grow limbs and become polytantrestrial and polyaquatic. However, most tetrapod species today or anatomies, most of which are tetrasaurus tetrapods, whose breach evolved from earlier tetrapods, early in the late Cretaceous. The key intervention in anatomies over amphibians is the anomaly, which enables the eggs to retain their aquatic contents on land rather than needing to stay in water. Some of my later involved in fertilization, although many aquatic species outside the tetrapod tree had evolved such before the tetrapods appeared, e.g. Metapicosus, some tetrapods, such as snakes and crustaceans, have lost some or all of their limbs to further speculation and evolution. Some have only concealed vesticular bones as a remnant of limbs of their distant ancestors. Others return to being amphibious or otherwise living partially or fully aquatic lives. The first during the Cretaceous period, others as recently as a synonic, a group of anatomies divided into the reptiles which includes lepisodes, lepidosaurs, dinosaurs, which includes birds, crocodilians, turtles, and extinct relatives, why another group of commodities diverged into the mammals and their extinct relatives. Amodities include the tetrapods that further evolved for flight, such as birds from among the dinosaurs, predosaurs from the dinosaurs and bats, from among the mammals. The precise definition of tetrapod is a subject of strong debate among pathologists who work with the earliest members of the group. Agamurphy based definitions, a majority of pathologists use the term tetrapod to refer to all vertebrates with four limbs and distinct digits, fingers and toes, as well as legless vertebrates with limbed ancestors. Limbs and digits are major amorphous, newly evolved traits that define tetrapods. Though they are far from 
dealing skeletal or biological interventions inherit to the group the first vertebrates with limbs and digits evolved into the Varian according to the late Divarian age in the contours and agastrosaurus as well as the track markers of the middle Divarian age, Zincomora track markers. Defining tetrapods based on one or two amorphies can present a problem if these amorphies were acquired by more than one lineage through convenient evolution. To reserve this potential concern, the atomorphy based definition is often supported by an equivalent catalysiac definition. Catalysiacs is a modern practice of taxonomy which classifies organisms through evolutionary relationships as reconstructed by pathologic analysis. A catalysis definition would define a group based on how closely related its constituents are. Tetrapoda is widely considered of a metamorphic clad, a group with all of its contempt texture sharing a single common ancestor in this sense, tetrapoda, can also be defined as the clad of limbed vertebrates, including all vertebrates descended from the first limbed vertebrates. Thank you for watching this video and peace out to the next one.